Hey guys, welcome back here out in the nature. I'm outside again and I will try something special today. Um, I will try to do wildlife photography but only with a smartphone. And yes, actually um, I will don't do bird photography because I think that's quite impossible with a smartphone and without a tele lens. But I will try to do some macro photography and insect photography and all that stuff. And here I'm really excited um, and I'm really looking for what I can do only with a smartphone. And yeah, I think I will don't talk anymore and I will go on and look for some nice motives. Okay guys, um, I'm walking now here through the, the high field and I'm looking for some motives. Um, I hope I can find some butterflies. Uh, last week when I was out I photographed two butterflies. Um, so yeah, I can show you these photos here um, right now. And I think the photos are quite, quite good. Not really special, but um, they are one of my first butterfly photos and for this it's okay. Um, but yeah, I'm just walking around now. And I actually found my fifth motive. It's no insect, it's only a little blue um, flower. But I think that can look quite good. So yeah, I will show you my motive now. Okay guys, here you can see my first motive for today. Um, this blue flower I will photograph, or I will try to photograph now with my smartphone. And yeah, I'm really excited to see what I can do and yeah, I think I will just try it out now. Oh guys, I think that's going to be hard. Yep, but I will give my best. Guys, by the way, um, I only have what the hell? Here are hundreds of starlings. What is going on here? Oh my gosh. Can you hear them? They're quite really loud. Uh, yeah, but anyways, um, I wanted to say that I only have an iPhone 8. So the camera isn't the best. That's not a newest iPhone or smartphone in general. Um, so I have no macro function or all that kind of stuff and the new the new smartphones have. Um, so I only wanted to say that that I don't have the best um, smartphone with the best camera and the newest camera. And yeah, I'm just a bit unsure because I'm not sure if the photos are looking good when I look at them um, on my PC because there they are much bigger and I only have 12 megapix um, megapixels with this smartphone and here I'm not sure if the if that is enough for a big um, for the big screen of my computer but yeah I will see this later and you will see this too maybe the, the photos aren't looking good when you look at them in big so if you watch this video um, on a PC or on a TV, maybe the photos are having the, bad, uh, the best quality, but yeah. Okay guys, I just found this flower here and the sky with the clouds is looking really interesting right now. And I will take a photo with the flower in the foreground and in the background, the nice sky. And here yeah, I will just focus now, it's going really good. And there's a mosquito again. So yeah, it's going really, really good. And yeah, I will just take a photo. And yeah, I think it's looking quite interesting. So check this out. I like this. That's good. Or yes, it's nothing special, but it's okay. I will show you some some settings. Or actually, there are no no much settings I can use um, but here yeah, at first I have to try to focus here and it's quite really hard oh that was fast I think it's actually focused right now 
Yep. Okay, I will zoom in a bit, uh, but not too much. And I just, yeah, that's just not really much to say. Um, I have the flash on um, actually out and the photo on photo, on the photo mode actually. And then I choose a good composition, but I think that's actually the same than on on uh, and then with a real camera and then I can take a photo and yeah it's maybe a bit dark and in this case I I put up extension a bit like this and then it's better so I think that's quite a good photo guys I actually have one big problem and that's the focus because when I photograph um, or when I do macro photography, I just always have a little branch or a little insect in front of and my camera or actually my smartphone is focusing all the time on the background. And obviously I only can or I only have um, autofocus on the smartphone so I can't focus manual. And that's quite a big problem because in some cases I can't focus um, to the foreground and yeah that's quite really annoying and I actually don't understand why there's no no focus button or something like that where you can focus manual um, so do you have a tip for this because I don't know how I can fix that problem um, so if you you are uh, uh, a smartphone photographer or if you fo photograph often with a smartphone um, and you have a trick for that um, please tell me in the comments um, yeah because I don't know how I should do that and this mosquito here is really great to photograph too because yeah it's a big motive I can uh, I can focus really good and I can go close the mosquito isn't flying away really nice photograph to me in this photo is it's quite good here okay maybe it's not really sharp I have to try this again but I think it's a good motive okay I found this beetle here on the grass and I will try to photograph it now and here maybe I can show you some settings I use on my smartphone. So yeah, let's have a look at it. Okay guys, um, now you can have a little look on my smartphone and what I do there. Um, yeah, and this is what I said before. Here is the beetle and I actually can't focus it really good. So my camera is focusing on the background and not to the beetle on the foreground. That's a really big problem because yeah it's actually impossible to focus there and I have to turn the camera and my, uh, my smartphone around and I have to try to focus here but oh that's really annoying and I just have to tr um, have to wait until the, the camera is focusing here and hmm, it's actually impossible to focus on this beetle I don't know this is what I mean in some cases the focus isn't working and that's quite really really sad because yeah I can't take a photo of that and I don't know why Okay guys, I'm getting really angry right now. Um, <laughs> the first thing is that here are thousands of mosquitoes. I think or I have a feeling that they will eat me. Oh my gosh, they are so annoying. And <laughs> the second thing is that it is so annoying and difficult to photograph 
with the smartphone. Or not with the smartphone, the problem is actually the focus. Because it's impossible to photograph a beetle on a branch which is standing alone and when the background is in the same color it's impossible to focus this branch with the beetle. So yeah, that's not going. And I can't I can't talk here. That's that's horrible, re really horrible. Um I can't concentrate me, um, but I will give my best. Um, so yeah, I think I will switch now to some plant photography or actually I will look for some beetles in a flower because if the motif is a bit bigger I can, fo I can focus that. But not on a little small branch with only a beetle. There it's impossible to photograph, uh, to focus, but I think I will don't um, survive this evening because the mosquitoes are eating me. By the way guys, um, I have an Instagram account. Um, I will link it down in the description. And right now when you see this video I'm on Rügen, um, that's an island in the East Sea and yeah I think I will post there some some of my adventures and yeah I will make some stories so please check it out it will definitely pays off for you um, because I will also um, post there some of my favorite photos every day and um, so check it out it would be really nice if you see us there okay guys I found now this um, plant here and it looks really great how the sun is shining through the through the um, leaves from this plant. And I will put the exposure now down, so you can only see the silhouettes of the flower. And then I I will take a photo, and that looks quite really really interesting. So I mean the the sun that is going through flower that looks great. By the way, every photo and every video you saw in this video, um, so every um, nature video so where I showed a motif, um, I took with my smartphone, so there's no, so I only used my camera for filming myself and nothing else. Um, so yeah, only to say this you um, that you're informed. Okay, guys, um, the sun is under the horizon now, uh, um, but. Before I go back home, I have a little conclusion about wildlife um, or actually macro photography with a smartphone. And yeah, I have some different feelings or two different opinions. Um, I'm not really sure what I think about it. Um, one obvious point is that the image quality isn't really good because you only have 12 megapixels or something about that. Um, so if you will print the photos that's definitely not a best way. And the other thing is the problem with the focus. And if you will do some plant photography or portrait photography or um, yeah if you will do macro photography with some bigger objects, not only a small branch with a small beetle. Then it's fine, then it's working. Um, but if you will photograph a, a small beetle on a small grass or something like that, that's just impossible to focus. And one other thing is that the, the smartphone is really light and um, the camera is quite heavier. And if you have a light thing in your hand, you're shaking much more than with a heavy thing. So that's another point that is quite a bit difficult. Um, but with a little practice or if you use a tripod, you can fix that problem. So yeah guys, I wasn't really successful today, but it was a really nice experience. And what I want to say is that if you have no big camera, but you will try this out, keep your 
smartphone and go out in the field and try to try out photographing and if you um, notice that you have fun with photography you maybe buy a, a bigger camera so you can definitely take great photos with a smartphone but now I will go back home thank you so much for watching this video um, if you will see more videos from me check out this video there I um, took some other macro photos but with my with a real camera and maybe you can subscribe my channel and activate the clock so you don't miss new videos and yeah see you next saturday or on my instagram account by the way i will link this in the description too and see you next saturday have a great week and bye